Hey, good morning. Hey, let's check out three expensive lathes on eBay. And we're talking about the fabulous Monarch 10 double E's. <laughs> One of the most uh, talked about machines, but the least understood. Let's try to get some understanding on these things, okay? Let's have a look. I'll turn off the light. This is going to be difficult. Uh, we're going to have to look at the computer. So I'll turn this light down here, and we'll get over here, and we'll see if I can't get this set up. Here we are. i got to squeeze in here. I'll get you in here. I think this will work. I kind of pre-tested it a little bit. Okay. What we have here, I got you focused real close, is, um, let's see if, how that perspective would be. This is a Monarch 10 double E. It doesn't say the year, I don't think. Um, you, it's, um, it's an inch metric, full inch metric machine. You look over here and you'll see this bracket and there's a chrome knob on the top. And, uh, that is the electric lead screw reverse. And you look over here, clear over to the left. Oh, hold on. Ugh, my computer shut off. There we go. Clear over here to the left, and you'll see there's three levers right there. Boy, this thing's all jiggly. I hope I can stabilize it. Um, okay, and uh, so that says it's an inch metric machine with electric lead screw reverse. Let's see if I can get my finger in there and uh, see some of these other photos. <laughs> yeah, this uh, is a dealer, and uh, he doesn't want to put the price. So here's a closer look. You can see the three levers here, and uh, uh, the inch metric's got kind of a, a large uh, feed and thread chart without a window in it, okay? Um, this green color... It is uh, um, almost uh, uh, a factory color, but it's been repainted, and it did a pretty darn good job, you know, about as good as I do, I think. <laughs> Let's look a little further here. Okay, now what I'm looking at is, uh, at first I thought it might be... Uh, a factory paint job, but I, you can look close and you can see the edges of the saddle. That's a real sharp edge when they're new. And it's kind of battered over and you can kind of see the top of the, <coughs> excuse me, the top of the carriage is kind of dull and knocked around. That's a used lathe. Um, let's see, it's got the inch metric dials And you can see they're longer. Here's the the compound or top slide uh, dial inch metric, and uh, the cross slide is too. You see how wide they are? Then you look here at the tailstock, and you can see kind of a wide chrome band. That's an inch metric dial on that. And we're looking right down here. You see this switch here? That's uh a vacuum tube module drive with that disconnect switch on the left side of that right hand door. The red label um, indicates that this machine is probably in the early 80s um, and it's got the uh, square D switches in it. This is uh, the latest style of uh, drive. Um, module vacuum to drive. Let's see what else. Looking at the tailstock end here, you can see <clears throat> the uh, this tall bracket here is the electric lead screw reverse. It's got the standard switch panel. It looks like it's got uh, coolant. 
Uh, that would be that extra switch there, and that's off on. If there's a fourth uh, um, knob or switch, that would be for a variable uh, speed for reverse. Okay, this is the later heavier tail stock with the inch and three quarter quill. Okay, let's see what else we can find here. Looking down on here, yeah, you can kind of see this is kind of battered up a little bit, you know. Uh, just a little rounded over, a little dull, and, and that. So this machine's had some use. Again, there's no uh, price uh, listed on it. Uh, what am I seeing from there? You can see the extra length of the inch metric dial, okay, for the uh, compound rest. Okay, let's see what else we have here that looks like a factory uh, lamp. Uh-oh, no taper attachment. See that? No taper attachment. Uh, let's see, you've got a chuck guard. And you, you can kind of just see it's just kind of roughed up a little bit there. Things kind of rounded over. Probably a good machine. That's the outfit selling it. I, I don't know anything about them. Okay, let's, let's have a look at, uh, I'll tell you what, I'm not very good at this. Oh, come on. Oh, I, you know, these, uh, I hit the, all these little uh, uh, things. With this, uh, it's uh, so sensitive. And I think if I click this out, we will get to a better spot. Okay, let's move this back a little bit. i move you back a little. Get myself some room here. Okay. And we're going to look at... I tell you what, this is tough. There we go. What do we got? These are the old junkers. So maybe I'll do an old junker video too. Well, I can uh, show you how to identify what's in there. There's a super junker. Okay. Okay. Find out where these are. Uh, this one. There we go. $19,500. What the hell is this thing? I'll have a little drink of tea before I jump into this one. Ah. Now I think this one you can kind of... Now that last one you couldn't enlarge the pictures. I wonder why. Okay. I'm, I'm just being a little... You know. Let's see. Let me... Uh, let's see if we can get into this. I'll tell you what. Little laptop computers and big fingers. <laughs> okay, what are we looking at? Right here. Let's look at that drive system. This is uh, a refurbished machine, and uh, it's got an aftermarket drive system in it. And it's all fancy. It's got all kinds of little knobs and uh, stuff like that, you know. And uh, it, it's kind of in a spot. If uh, you get a leak here, it'll get oil in it. <laughs> I'm not going to be very kind here. I'll tell you right now. Okay. Let's have a look here. Okay, what we have here is a pre-1960 machine. It was a motor generator drive at one time. Looking at that cover. Ah, okay, it's only got two levers here. It's, and you can see the window. That's just a standard inch uh, um, gearbox. It's got three windows. That's the old oiling system. The bearings sit in oil, and they run a little hotter. The, the newer lathe will go to uh, a, another one, and it only has one oil window uh, right there. 
It doesn't have that one or that one. Okay? It has uh, um, oil circulation. Okay. So it's got uh, the, the original drive's been removed. And uh, we'll take a quick look here. Uh, here we are. This is what I want to look at. Okay. What we have here, let's have a look. That is a three-phase motor. So that's got a, a AC inverter control, known as a VFD, I guess, too. And it's got one single belt uh, running the spindle. And, uh, and I'll, I'll show you something else. They didn't even know how to adjust the belts. Now, these people are rebuilding machines. They don't know how to put the belt on. <laughs> now, uh, I don't fool around with these machines. I'll tell you what. Um, let's, let's see. Let's see how that is. That's like the whole picture there. Okay. So it's got an inverter drive. And what else I'm seeing here is there's no gearbox on the end of the motor. So it's only got direct drive, which would be open belt. I don't know what horsepower that motor is. I don't even think it's five horsepower. This is a dog. It's just not going to perform um, electric lead screw reverse because then it stops and you can return it. And, and, you know, you don't fall asleep at the wheel and crash the machine. Okay, well, I'm going to load this video and, uh, hey, let's walk outside. It, 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 the, the sun's just coming up. And I'll show you what I've been up to. If I don't fall on my face. Ah, oh, it's just getting light out here. Yeah. Just, uh mopping up the loose ends on this paint you know i and uh, i uh um um got primer in there i even got a flashlight maybe i don't need it see got that primer it gets warm it's still too cold to paint right now it's starting to get cold uh, at night and that's nice so i'm mopping this mess up yeah here's my electrical junk here and uh, that's all good, you know. Got my, got the old switch there. Um, that's all nice and clean. And I'll get the, I'll get this painted and uh, installed on there. So uh, I hope you guys have a great weekend and you enjoyed this video. And I will be back. I just got so many things going, you know. And I got to show some of it. Can't show all of it, but I'll show some of it. You guys have a great day, okay? Bye-bye.